All right, kind of back in the original area. First off, welcome back to more Elden Ring. Hey, all the love and support in this series has been amazing. Might look a little different. Uh, that Molina fight took it out of me. It was a rough one. Gotta say, I took a couple days and kind of recharged. Uh, also planned out a lot of stuff for the next few videos. Uh, just before we go to the main section. Once we go over here, I've heard we can go back. But I also heard it wraps up a lot of quest lines. Uh, now, we've finished most of the ones that I actually care about. I know you can miss items, but I plan on doing like a new game plus. Apparently, after you beat the game, you can keep searching around. And at any point, you can actually go to the uh, little spot over here. And then you can go to a new game plus one, and then it's so on and so forth to plus two and up. I'm not sure how it goes up, like maybe plus ten or something. Uh, but anyways, decided to rock the Bloody Wolf set. Been using that Radon set for a long time. Got Rivers of Blood to plus ten, the ancient somber smithing stone. I didn't know that actually was what you used to get it to plus ten. Uh, two of the Raging Wolf, which I think, you know, the original name for this in the network test was the Bloody Wolf set. Kind of matches Rivers of Blood. You know, I like that theme. And the Blasphemous Blade kind of looks like these gauntlets and these uh, greaves. So, kind of what I'm rocking. If I start taking a lot of damage, I'll just change back. But I got a lot of armor, by the way. I'm going to show you. First, we'll go over there. Um, oh, by the way, I've been doing this, right? I'll always go back here. You just hit triangle and then square and you're good. It takes you. It's like a shortcut, which I never knew existed until now. Hey, that... that Last fight in that last video. I still can't believe I was able to do that. Um, all right. So I bought all this in my spare time. There's a lot of armor. You get her, her gear set, by the way, which is nice. Or her armor set, excuse me. This one, I have no idea what it's from. I think that's the... I'm not sure. I think it was the night we fought on the horse, like, two parts back. I can't remember. Um, but, yeah. A lot of these look really nice. This one looks really good. But I just kind of want to rock this like this other one for now. Um, this helm also looks really nice. Veteran's helm. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, by the way, I went and duplicated this Remembrance so I could get both of these things in this video. Um, we're going to get her her katana, which I'm assuming is going to be good. And also this. We're kind of waiting for those. Maybe I should check out... Uh, I should I jumped right there. I might check out and see... Let me see where it's at first. Here it is. Oh, it's on the same column as my favorite two weapons. How convenient. And it causes a blood loss, which is, you know, kind of figured that much. Dexterity, C, Strength, E. Okay. Uh, Rivers of Blood, I think... I'm kind of... I got both of these to plus 10 because I feel like before I finish the game, there will be another patch. I do worry about a nerf, potentially. Um, all right. Here's what I wrote down. Let's see. Went over thing... Oh, the Guts Berserk Sword. I know where that's out now. Or oh, the Great Sword. Um, I'm going to get that later. Apparently in Volcano Manor. Somebody told me about this. There's actually an area. Um, I've already got it marked. I went there. And there's a whole dungeon there. I knew I was missing something. It didn't feel right. So I'm not sure if I'll check it out in this video. What I wanted to fight in this video is the... Uh, Mog Lord of Blood. Down in here in this... I'm going to fight that this video. That's I'm not looking forward to it because I've seen the fight. <laughs> and it looks like a tough one. The first thing I wanted to do was go back over here to this little area. Let's see. Make sure we got everything here first. This game's just so massive. Oh, it's over here. There's an underground area here to uh, the catacombs. I have a, a spot. I was running around. There's like a well you drop down. And then there's a bunch of enemies and stuff. And you just keep going and going. Well, I came down here and... This is kind of the area. This is all up under this whole gold area right there. I don't know what's down here, but I've heard there is a... Uh, what is... I think, I think there's a boss down here. Oh, that's right. I saw this and I, I quit because I didn't want to see what it was. Apparently, there's a boss right here, and this boss is supposed to drop the last thing I want for this kind of vampire build. You know, because I got the Blasphemous to get the health on kill. This right here for successive attacks. This is also kind of mixed with the successive attacks and boost dexterity. That gives it plus five. Uh, HP upon defeating enemies mixes with this as well. We're going to take this off. I think the item I get for this, you do more damage when somebody has like a blood loss type thing. Thing is, I don't know what boss this is. I have no idea. Uh, Priest of Blood. That's what I was looking for right there. 
Now, I'm not saying that was... <laughs> that was what I was expecting. Uh, that did not go as I was uh, thinking. Blood loss and vicinity increases attack power. Yep, that's the one. I don't think you're supposed to fight that boss now because it seemed to take a lot of damage. Like, I, I, I haven't upgraded this at all except, uh, I think, the plus 10, which doesn't really give it much. That's actually crazy. Oh, by the way, I'll kind of show you... Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can show you, like, the entrance to this. I mean, it's just a big underground section. There wasn't much to it. I mean, I was running around. It's just a lot of big enemies. And I didn't really think it was worth, like, showing everything. And that's one thing about this game I was going to say, like... I know there's, like, hundreds of bosses still. That I would love to do. But I just... I want to finish the main story and then kind of see how it goes. And kind of just keep going from there, so... Yeah, it's just like a typical little dungeon. But that was the, I guess the biggest boss. Why, why are these enemies like stronger than what I just fought? That's funny. Yeah, there's a few a few items down here. Nothing really major. All right. That wasn't really what I wanted to show you in this video. Because um, there's a lot to this game that I still haven't seen yet. Oh, let me kill them so I can fast travel. I guarantee you the boss we're going to be fighting in this part is going to be gonna push me to the limit probably like last video just trying to like trying to like get give my bearings before I do all that I'll run past them really quick in case they hop down okay oh oh by the way let's go finish this somebody told me I wasn't done with the Ronnie thing Ronnie's rise yeah here we go apparently you got to go out front and there's like a boss out there uh, and that's how you get like the um, like the wolf said, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if this has, like... This, apparently, the ending I'm, I'm going for is a good one. I just hope it actually works, you know? Because I finished the quest. Yeah. Oh, it's... It's him. I didn't realize that. Can we talk to him? I think we're actually supposed to kill him. Oh, yeah. He's tankier than the... Uh, Only thing about rivers of blood? Oh wow. There we go. Consecutive attacks is what it takes. Apparently this completes her storyline. Royal Greatsword. Hey, we got all the armor too. I wonder what the uh, stats on those are. I'm trip and I don't really see. Oh, oh, that's right. The helmet's not part of it. Oh, so it's a pretty good set. Hey, why does that look clean? Look at that. Oh, wow. That actually looks really nice. Even mixed in, like, with the other stuff. So, like, this the best. It's a nice little combo. Uh, I'm not sure where you get the headpiece, though. Heard it's, like, around here somewhere. Anyways. By the way, before this video started, I had, like, a little checklist. <laughs> We're kind of going through it a lot quicker than I was expecting. The Volcano Manor, uh, I'm, I'm tempted to go do that, but I really want to go fight this boss. So here's, when you do the original quest line, let me show you the inventory item you actually use. This right here. I'm going to use it just to kind of show you how I originally got there. And once we're here and we're fighting a uh, pretty tough opponent. This is how you get there. That's all it is. This area is pretty crazy because it's like... Let me put this on just in case. There's just... All the enemies here are insanely strong. Kind of where I farm my runes as well. You know, probably, a lot of people have already seen this in like farming videos and stuff like that. Um, I will say the birds in this area are insane. They, they literally are like one of the scariest things in the game, I feel like. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I'm just kind of just showing you the area right now. I think I can go back up this hill. Let me see if it takes me over there. Yeah, this looks like it might be it. This is like the farming spot everybody has. You know, every time you look up like how to get X amount of runes in an hour or whatever, this is usually the spot. There'll be a side of grace right here. And... This is kind of what I... So what I would do is, like, between videos, if I had time, I would I would come over here for, like, an hour or so and just farm these enemies. 
Uh, there were ways you could do it. You could also, uh, also shoot the bird across, you know, the thing right there to run off and fall. Um, this is kind of where everybody does that, though. But the, apparently the spot we're going is on the other side. I already kind of got it mapped out. I know that this fight is going to be absolutely tough. It was just, just, this is just behind where we were a minute ago. What are the, okay, if look at the bottom left the corner of the shortcut items on the right, it's apparently that. I used to run past these enemies, so I'm just kind of running for it. I like how the one in the back's walking, like, in slow motion cut. That was kind of weird. <laughs> Excuse me. There's so many bosses I want to go check out. You know? Yeah, I probably could have just took the other path. Hold on, let me put this on. I have a... I actually have the little spot you rest just before the fight. I just wanted to, like, show like, how to get there and everything. If I can remember. Yeah, I think what I was going to do is... This video is kind of about this boss. This is apparently a big boss. Uh... I think it's Morgoth's brother. I'm, I'm not sure about the lore. I think that's right, but I could be wrong. I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. It's up here. Uh, th this game, I was thinking about like what I could do. I want to kind of do like a review for this game, even, even if it's like on the last video or something. What's this? Oh, what in the world? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rest right here really quick. All right, we're good. Um, wanted to kind of do like a uh, a mini review of it, even though here's the way this game is. You know, like I I want to, yeah, I would love to go to find every single dungeon, every single thing in the game. I just thought that would be like impossible without like a guide or whatever. I've done like partial guide, partial emails and tweets, stuff like that. Stuff I've saved. Um, yeah, I think we go up here. This is gonna be. Probably the rest of the video. If I had to take a wild guess, I don't know if Rivers of Blood's even good against this boss. It's kind of why I got the Moon Vell, just in case. You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. think we just fight them and that's it's like fire on the ground kind of I gotta I gotta learn like the move sets and stuff hold on oh my god he does a lot of damage hey what's this ring around me
Alright, um... Oh, wow, that delayed attack, though. And that hurts. It's like a mix of fire and then the blood or whatever. Oh, my God. Yes, yeah, this boss is nuts. What in the world? I'm just trying to heal up, man. You got so much range. Man, I'm dead. Let me, uh, get out of here. Oh my god. Okay. I see how it is, buddy. I don't know what that ring he put around me is, though. I could have used the item to also bring him to his knees. I don't know. Like, apparently, that's something that a lot of bosses have in your inventory. Um, I'll kind of show it to you really quick. So, apparently, oh, we spawn right here. What in the world? Where's the stake at? Oh, it's right. Oh, it's hidden. I could barely even see this right here. It's so well placed, too. You don't even know it's there. Um, let's see. Wait, am I tripping or just pass? Here it is. Yeah, okay, so... This is the one right here. I don't know how long it lasts for. Apparently, you just do it. And he's supposed to just be, like, stunned for a minute. Um, I think that's pretty much... We'll see if there's anything else. Golden Seeds. Oh, by the way, these great runes. I want to find all those spots. Apparently, if you inspect them, it'll show you, like, the description says, Seek the isolated divine tower which stands beyond the lost great bridge. This one is also showing you where it's at. I want to find those before the end of the game as well. Here was my overall goal. I, I finished the main game. It's going to ask me if I want to keep going or new game plus. I want to keep going, so... That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Here we go. I don't care about my runes anyway, but if I if I can get them, I will. But the debuff, though, like I was saying, when you don't care anymore and you lose everything, that's when it just becomes like a war of attrition. God, he does some damage. Okay, buddy. I'm trying to do like consistent attacks. I may. That right there is nice. Okay. Yeah. Ah, moon Veil or this? It's apparently, there's certain spears in the game that are nuts. Yeah, I lost everything there. It's all good. It is all good. I feel like we might be here in a minute. Let's just go... Because um, I felt... I, here's what I worry about with the Rivers of Blood. It's nice, but at the same time, it's just like... You got to commit so much to the swinging. The blood loss proc was really nice, but I don't think I don't think you stun as often either as you do with this. You got to be really close to this guy to do a lot of damage too, so Oh, that man the delay. Yeah, he does not seem to stun at all. I don't know. I kind of like Rivers of Blood against this guy. Okay, he put that ring around me again. I don't know what that is. So he does fire and the bleed effect. Good to know. And, okay. Okay, buddy. I see it. That fed the delay. I should not have double healed there. That's not a good idea. Okay, I get the bleed effect on him pretty quick. Blood loss. Oh my god, heal, heal, heal. What in the world? Look at the wings he has now. That's supposed to happen. 
Oh my. Look at Wait, he got all his health back too. Oh my god. I gotta fight this. No, this is a bad idea. Small arena too. Okay. Here's what I wanna know. How am I supposed to do damage? And I'm on fire, and he's swinging, and there's nowhere to stand, and I keep healing by accident. There's a lot going on. This is a small claustrophobic fight. My timing's down. Oh, he's probably dead here. Okay, I have no more hills. Um, one hit and I'm dead. I think I gotta be aggressive against this guy. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned the video or not. I, I already had like a huge list of things I wanted to share with you. I got the Mimic Terror and I got it to plus 10 just to try it out. I'm not gonna use it in these fights, but I just wanted to get it for the end of the game so I'd always have it. I, that's why, like, if you look right here on the left one, it's, it's so strong. I should have stunned him right there. That was my chance, probably. When he starts going all crazy, I might... Or should I try it now? I don't know if he can get stunned. Okay, that delay always gets me. So he has some kind of rain he does. Kind of committing because I know the blood loss is there. Okay, you put that down. So if I use this, run right up and hit him, I guess. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Running up to him was not a good idea. Okay, blood loss, heal. Go again. He just gets all of his health back. Kind of ironic I'm using rivers of blood against this guy. Probably should use. Oh my god. No! To the firing flames. I'm about to take blood damage too here in a minute, like the bleed is stacking up pretty good. Really? I gotta get so close to him, it's not working. Blood loss hit me. Man, okay. Kinda committed there. What I was trying to do is do big chunks of damage. I feel like I would have killed him had he not gained all the health back. I don't know if there's a way to stop the, uh... Like, is there not a way to stop him from taking your health? There has to be something I'm missing. Because, I mean, unless it's just part of the fight and you can't do anything about it. Try it again. Let's keep on going. Let's keep knocking, baby. The reason I wanted to fight this guy is mainly because I know that... I don't know if you get anything for it or not, but I'm, I mean, I'm sure you get something. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Hey, we're, I think we're doing fine, though. I say that now, but... I think after last video, I kind of got this feeling of... If there's a tough boss, I want to fight it. Like, I want to fight all of them. We tried Moon Valley, we tried... Rivers of Blood. I haven't tried Magic or Summons or anything. I'm, I'm just going to kind of... I don't want to ever use those if I don't have to. 
I did it again. I did it again. I love it. Look at that range. That's insane. And that, when it hits you, not only does it get the bleed effect thing going, you gotta be pretty far away to dodge that. Unless he has a, maybe you can get really close. I'm trying to just get some kind of It's because I'm like forgetting when he does his attacks kind of reminds me of uh, a few of the early main bosses You know, I, I just feel like a lot of them had a really big wind up So there's times where I think he's about to hit and he doesn't This weapon seems pretty effective against him. I just, I don't know if, uh, getting close to him is not, like, kind of committing right there. Right there. Right there. I go to Hill and he's like, of course he gets really close and then he throws that at me. He has a, it's all fire too. Okay. That right there. Okay. That seems like a four com uh, four attack combo there. It's gonna be a tough fight. I feel like I can I can do it, but I man, it's just gonna it's like a how to describe it. He it, the the area is very claustrophobic. Not a lot of moving space. He has a lot of projectiles that will do a lot of damage, you know? The fire kind of... Okay. Kind of committing right there to a little bit of... Get a little bit of big damage going. Okay, they put that ring on me. Go ahead and heal up. Top off really quick. He does two. Man, it does a lot of damage for... Okay, you can get behind him there. Nice to know. Nice to know. So that attack he has where he, like, does, like, the spray out. It's like, I thought I could get behind him when he's doing that, but he just, it still hit me. I don't know. Might try... Funny Rivers of Blood and then switch over to Moonvale to do because I feel like Moonvale is better, but man, you saw that big blood loss when I get a bunch of hits, and the problem is you just don't get a bunch of hits. Like right there. Let's go, babe. Maybe I do like just do it like to do a two hit combo there. Cause that is not it. Okay, put that on me. That's fine. I move it up. Pop. Okay. That's a free hit on him. Yep. Right there too. I dodged two. Delayed and the healing shouldn't have done that either. Hmm. That hits you a lot sooner than I thought as well. Can't dodge that. Problem is now he's gonna do that main attack. I don't think you can stun him either.
Here he goes. I gotta. I have to burn these two. I have. That's so crazy. It's all my hills. I don't know. I don't feel as overwhelmed as I did with uh, Molina, but I, it's like, it's an odd feeling. It, it's like I have the wrong build or have the wrong setup. I feel like if you have like magic or something, it's probably like a cakewalk. Um, I don't know. We'll keep going. I'm wondering if you can wait out a lot of his stuff, you know? I feel like his overall goal is to get that first Okay, just dodge all that. Just kind of wait him out. Let's we'll see what happens. Might play very passive and just see what he does. Wait for him to do like a big attack and then I go in and do like maybe two two hits. That might be the play. That might be the play. I don't know. He can kind of just do what he wants right there. Look at that. Yeah, you have at it, buddy. It's fine with me. You have all the space you want. Kind of run from him a little bit. Better start than I have had. That's for sure. That hurts. So I know that he's gonna. Okay. I know he's gonna do that thing where he, he drains my health, and there's nothing I can do about it. Of course he's. Here he goes. Yeah, he gains health back no matter what you do. There's no way to avoid that, I'm pretty sure. And then he goes all crazy KO can, you know? Oh, the stairs kind of blocked that spray thing a little bit. Ow, that hurt. This is so crazy. I can't see. Yo, he has. It's like, what do you do? I started off so so good. You know what I mean? I had like, uh, I had a nice little strat. Do the two hits. Come back. Do the two hits. You know, get the bleed effect going. But he just decided at the end. He's. I think I might just try to go crazy at the end. Cause I felt like what I was doing was not working. You know what I haven't tried is the two-handing the moon bell and the uh, I did it every time. I'm just playing sloppy now. I, I kind of want to reset. Can't really dodge that. What? That's odd, it didn't work. Can you not hit him in an animation, maybe? That's it's gonna be tough. This is good practice, though. I'm like, it's like putting me back in my place every time I think I'm like, you know, I've got, I've got a weapon plus 10, I have all these things now, and it's like, no, no. You're still playing Elden Ring, buddy. Let's tone it down. That's 
a, I think it's worth that's a worthy trade right there. I don't want to. It's like the healing gives me more, so I don't want to overheal right now. What is that? Oh my goodness! I haven't seen that yet. Okay, I think I gotta say that I think the stairs for that right there might be better. Problem is, it kind of puts you over there by yourself. I every single time, and I get hit with the second one because I want to get my want to get my money back. Oh, that's on top of him. Different one. I'm dead here. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's like, when do you have time to attack? The follow-up there, can't do anything else. I'm going to try playing the stairs a minute. Well, I mean, it's not going to work out because... He's gonna do that thing right when he gets like right here. Nothing. There's I don't know there's any way to counter this. I think it just has to happen. I'm just I'm pretty sure it only happens once. Healing is a big thing right with this fight, I feel like. I'm just trying to just... <laughs> I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do here. Um... I'm trying, it's like I'm trying to formulate a plan of what I have, but it just, I don't think the weapons I have for this fight are useful. I don't think, uh, man, I don't know. Like, the Moonbell doesn't seem to stagger him. I don't know if he can get staggered, because everything I'm doing, I mean, there's a lot of hits sometimes, and it's just, he just tanks everything. So I'm kind of trading at one point. I have, no matter what, I have three flasks just for him. Just for that one phase, and it's also like he's getting the help. Even though I like kind of play that to my safe. I think he I think to get him to that next phase. That right there. Okay, that did not help at all. I don't know what I'm doing. Kind of committing there. Look at that range. I almost stopped the hill a little sooner, and it would have just been the end of me right there. Is that? I don't wonder if that's healing him. There it is. Alright, he's gonna do that thing now. Yep. He's gonna get health back, which is fine. But he won't get as much as he has before. Okay, he's a little over half, so that's, that's still a lot. But... I'm at seven now. Bell time. That, what, what in the world did I just do? I, it's like I, I accidentally tried to stun him again when I know I can't. Ah, I thought I might have been behind him there or something. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. So he has a the second phase whenever he does that, when he sticks his uh, spear in the ground, he has like a... How do I say it? It just like goes up, you know? Like flames or whatever. So it's like a different version. I had a feeling this might be the whole video. I, I knew that when I came over here, it was going to be... Uh, Gonna be a long fight. Here we go. Here we go, man. I think I'll get him to like close to a half. Spinning here. I don't care. That's big damage. Oh my god. Stamina has been a big issue with this like build because you you need stamina to do the, uh, the weapon art or whatever not weapon art whatever it's called. Like overzealous. I don't know what I was doing. Whatever that word even means. It just it feels like the right word to use. I got like over uh the greed just hit me. You know, that's all it was. That's all it was. Okay. A few things that's not really seeming to work. Uh that seems to be helping a little bit. Boost dexterity, successive attacks. This restoring HP. I'm not seeing that be a big like, I'm not seeing it help, really. So I'm wondering if I should... I'm not getting a lot of health from this. I wonder if something else that I can use... Let's see. Fire damage negation would also work. Could raise dexterity a little bit. It's another five. Not much, though. Uh, raise max stamina from 155 to 172. I mean, maybe. This doesn't help at all, really. Uh, raises maximum FP. Would give me more of that. Hmm. Jump attacks. Stamina reducing. No. Charge attacks. Final hit of chains. FP consumption, maybe? I would rather try that than the other. I'm trying to see what all I have right now. When it maximum HP. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Uh, yeah, I think I'll try this one. These two have really good synergy. This one's also, you know, not going to help me in this fight. So I might want to swap that one out as well. And at least give me like an extra... A little bit of something. More dexterity, I guess. A little more... I could also use this, which I think you take more damage. But it doesn't tell you how much... Which I would assume it's probably a lot. Stamina. Mm, I could also... Yeah, stamina might be useful for that as well. Stamina doesn't seem as big as a deal. Is I think just a little more attack power. Let's try to get something going. Alright, almost an hour in this video. <laughs> I had a feeling it would be like this. 
I didn't expect this boss to be this hard, though. I'll tell you that. Oh. Should not be taking a lot of damage yet. I'm, it's like I'm just making so many mistakes. None of that hit me. I'll take it. had a plan there i was i was in the mood like I, I was just in the zone just well and away with that oh, this is gonna be tough it's like i can get him down to about a fourth he, he obviously gains his health back down to about a little over half every time so then you're kind of left with that last 30 to 40 percent you got to get it done you know i should have dodged differently there. He just hit his weapon on this side. I'm glad it does not heal him. That would be insane. Okay. I get it, buddy. You like blood, you like fire, whatever. I did not know that was going to do damage to me just then. When he took his spear out of the ground, I thought it only did damage in phase two. Apparently, if you're up on it, you take damage when it's coming out too. Interesting. <laughs> oh, man. Slowly losing my sanity over here. Maybe the health on hit, like if I do successive attacks, which is like multiple... I didn't see a lot of HP being brought back, though. That's the only issue. Really, starting off a little different this time. I see how it is. Gotta run and jump over this stuff. Okay. Maybe I could have the fire resistance thing on. I'm just playing so terrible right now. I, just, I deserve a reset right here. Just, just go ahead and reset. There we go. Did it reset, maybe? Let's go. What about... I'm going to try something. Rather than having like a little more dexterity or whatever, I'm going to try... Uh, try the thing that greatly... Like the fire damage or whatever. Because five dexterity is not going to help me versus something like this, maybe. I'm not sure. Here we go. This boss is going down in this video. Mark my words. This is a bad choice to do after that last fight. He just constantly, there's not a lot of opportunities to attack. There is not a lot of opportunities. I'm playing more passive now, and I probably should just get in there, get it done. I was doing good when I just went spamming like this. Take a few hits there. I don't know how you dodge that like, properly. If I could get damage. Taking a lot of damage right there. Still 
heal, heal, heal. I think I'm in the wrong side of the arena. Maybe move bell right here. Okay, it doesn't work twice. I kind of wanted to try it. Three flasks. Hopefully no more healing on his end. I got moved already. I just accidentally... And it hits you even if you don't... Is my Did he just... Okay, he just did something I haven't seen yet. So, he lifted his hands up and it just did damage to me. So maybe, yeah, he saw he's like the spell over me. I don't know. That was, uh, not what I was expecting. I'm kind of being aggressive because I know I can do a lot of damage if I just if I'm just very quick with it Get him to that second phase as fast as I can, but I don't know if that's even the best option now We're trying to walk up a little bit more now instead of running because I feel like walking That stamina is not as bad It's gonna hit, I knew it. I'm gonna try to be, okay, a couple of attacks and then... I'm trying to just get this over. Killed him right there. I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm being so aggressive. I'm dead. I, de I deserve that. Here's what's crazy. When he, so I, I got him to like, give him like 45% and then you bring him down to the ground and I just started well and away. I felt like if I just had unlimited stamina right there, which now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think this is helping at all. I think this, uh, where's it at? A little extra stamina might help. I think it will. I, I honestly think it will. That'll allow me to get some more hits in. Yeah, I, I think I can do this. It's just going to take some time. I got to really be focused, though. Because that last little bit, I got I get so aggressive. Okay, he follows that up. Upward. Easy hit for him. Easy hit for him again. Because I'm just making a bunch of mistakes. I got it. Overhead. Super range. I should heal up, but I'm not going to because I feel like I've already wasted enough time. Okay, one more combo. Bring him to the ground. Do it again. Oh 
my god, almost had it. Almost, I almost killed him right there. I almost killed him right there. That is crazy. Now, at one point, he just took health from me for no reason. I don't know how he did it. I'm a little worried about that part of it. Fire. Got him. Let's go, baby. Oh my god. That was a tough fight. If I had to rank the fights I've had so far... 420?! <laughs> Such a funny number. I like it. Um, if I had to rank toughness-wise... Did you see how close I came to killing him? I bet if I had like 10 more Ar Arcane into this build, I would have destroyed him. God, I can't believe it. I only got 27 Arcane... For this weapon and it apparently scales with it more than anything else even though it does say like i think like dexterity Clearly this weapon is kind of bugged right now because apparently it scales the dexterity the best it be but when i do arcane it skyrockets so i'm glad i did it though with my you know my, my setup i think that was a really good fight as far as toughness though i would i would rank that so not as tough as the last video i'll tell you that right now but i would put it up there with maybe like, the fire giant wasn't that bad. Um, what else? I don't know. I, I think it might be, like, the second hardest fight in the game I've had. The one I did not like the most uh, was the one where you're supposed to use the spear, but I was kind of stubborn and didn't use it anyways. That fight was kind of an odd fight. But it was more gi gimmicky than anything. Okay. Uh, let's go see, like... Should I just use the shortcut thing? I kind of want to see what the great room gives you. Hold on. First off, where is it located? Why do I always go past it? Okay, so... I wonder where this one's at. Hold on. Seek the Divine Tower East. Atlas, which stands uh, beyond the Great Bridge. Divine Tower of East Atlas. Oh, man. I wonder what we got armor-wise from that. Anything? Uh, Blood Boon. 14 Faith. 17 Arcane. Scatters Blood Flame before Caster to set. Okay. Now, this, this right here I might get because that looks pretty awesome. But I bet this is also really good. I want, like, the whole thing I have to be, like, a blood loss type build. You know, like, the vampire type stuff. This spear might be the way. Let me check everything. I, I hate... <laughs> I, always, I still get that confused. Uh, let me put these back where they were. I think I had the, uh, this one on. And then... Health on kill, obviously, was not going to work there. This is the four I like for this. Yeah. Moonvel's, you know, it's good, but I also don't have, I don't know. I mean, it's straight. It looks like it'd be stronger on paper, you know? I don't know. This thing is just nasty and I, and I love it. I love the theme of it too. All right. On that note, I guess I'll stop here. Uh, what I was going to do is I'll show you before we go what I might do in the next part. Go ahead and show you, uh, I'll go to Volcano Manor. I'll kind of show you how to get here. I've already got the first bonfire of this area unlocked. Because I was just curious. I was like, somebody said it was back here, but I didn't know. Apparently an entire dungeon back here. And I didn't realize it. And I don't know if it was always there or what. 
Eventually, you can open up this door. You come in here, and this person's just on the ground. And, uh... Got some of these types of enemies, I guess. I'll run through and show you where to get to the first bonfire. My, my favorite thing about this video was the first, uh... Wait, what is back here? Oh, my... Like these snail snakes or something. I don't know what's going on. I didn't get whatever's back here. I'm surrounded. Whatever this is. I'm at a cookbook. Why is it like that wall back there could have been open or whatever? Yeah, those both look like, you know, like a... Like a hidden door or something's right there. I'm not sure. God, that fight was so tough. My thing about the video, though, was that I started the video off with an easy boss fight. Where I got the item I really wanted. Um, and then I ended with that. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, it looks like that, uh, the blood, the blood thing. Go ahead and use this since it's half and half anyways. Go over there both. But yeah, I can't thank you enough for all the support. Uh, because of you, this has been one of my absolute favorite games to play. Here was the side of grace I got to, and then I opened the doors right there, and that was it. It's kind of where we're going to go next video. Kind of have it all planned out where uh, I want to go go through here and uh, just kind of like look around. You know? Um, stuff I wanted to do a lot like, oh wow, I didn't see all this. This is a lot of area. We'll be here until we get to the boss of this area, and then that's it. I, I had a feeling when I first saw this area, I was like, there's got to be something else here. You know? So we'll be kind of running through this in the next part. Uh, I will tell you, one of the things about this game that I'll go ahead and say right now, I know I'll do like a traditional review down the road, but, um, or at least like on the ending, is even though I'm going to finish it, if you want to play the game yourself, there's so much you can do that I have not done. And I've done a lot of the major stuff. So, uh, what I'm going to be kind of doing, I'll look at some of the quest lines to see if there's anything I want to finish. The one I really want to do is like the Ronnie quest line, which we actually got that done. Um, I don't want to go too far in this area because I don't want to spoil it. I'd like to save this for the next part. Um, but that's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, before we begin next video, what I might go do is get the, the Guts... Uh, Berserk Greatsword. We'll kind of go get that at the start of the next part. And, uh, yeah. Love you all. Best audience ever. Um, like I was going to say, played a lot of games, but none of them have kind of had an effect on me like this one where I feel like it's challenging. I can even, like, level up, take my time, learn stuff, have your own kind of build. I mean, people can say to use this, use that. Everybody's got their own strat. I've seen spears that one-shot bosses. I've seen magic stuff one shot so i'm happy with the stuff i currently have and i think that you know if it gets balanced it gets balanced if not so so be it you know i'm just having fun this is the first time i played a soulsborne type game where uh i've gotten this far like I, I i i know for a fact at this point i'm going to finish it it's only a matter of how long will it take me for the last boss have me there for days i don't know so all right love you all take it easy